Hi, welcome back. My name is Rose. Welcome to video eight, where I'm going to do these two different ways to do a foundation stitch. The first one will be the simple chain. The other will be a single crochet foundation stitch. So let's get started. Now, I'm a true believer in relaxation when you're doing crochet or any other craft. So we're going to just start with some simple hand exercises to limber up our fingers. So just place your hands on your flat surface if you have one available to you. If not, use your legs or whatever works. Put your hands flat, press down gently. Bring your fingers up into a fist. Repeat. And just move your fingers around a bit. Whatever works for you to stretch them out, get them used to motion. And now we're going to work on the mental aspect of it. Now the idea of crochet is to relax. So I want you to close your eyes for just a moment. Inhale deeply with me. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Thank you very much. Now you should be in a calmer mental space and your fingers should be ready to go. Now the main thing about any crochet is to relax. So think about relax. Your stitches will be easier and looser and a lot better to work with. Now a lot of questions I have is when you first start out, they always say create a yarn tail. Well, how long is that? I simply use my crochet hook sit alongside my yarn like that and then just take the end there and that will be my tail very simple measuring that way now as a beginner it's you you have to start with the knot so the easiest way to do that is simply lay your crochet hook about the same location that the end of your hook was so I'm just going to lay that across there and take and make a simple loop just like you would any other knot per se and do it one more time now you notice I'm not pulling it tight against my hook I'm leaving a little bit of space because we want to be able to move our hook back and forth now also that I also find that the easiest hook size for beginners is either H, I, or J. It's because they're a little larger to work with and you can see your stitches right off a lot better. So now we're just going to do the basic crochet. This is a tried and true, been along for around forever. So you'll see I have my hook there, my tail there, and my yarn there. So let's get started. So basically, you just hang on to your tail, which is here, and hang on to your yarn at the same time because you have your loop all ready to go. But my little knot loop is a little large, but that's okay, you can see it better. So you just take your yarn over, catch it with your hook. Pull it through the loop. It should look like that. So yarn over, pull it through your loop, and now you should have two. I have, like I said, mine's a little large. I just made it large so you can see where I'm going on this. Yarn over, pull through, and starting to take a little bit of a shape here. So yarn over, pull through the hole, yarn over, pull through the hole, yarn over, pull through the hole. And pretty soon your fingers just get used to that whole idea. Now we notice I'm keeping my loops really large enough so I can get through loop real easy. And that's because you're relaxed if you got that the first time. If not, take another deep breath, relax. Now you can make this chain just as long as you want it. You can continue on. Some people 
you start, just use a chain as a garland for the tree, for the Christmas tree. Or you can make a rope type things to hang stuff on and just leave it like it is. It's still a useful item as is. So just continue on until it's the length that you want it to be. That is your basic chain foundation and basic chain crochet stitch. And I'm just going to take this out and we're going to move on to the second one, which is a single crochet crochet foundation. Now, and I'm just going to leave my hole right where it's at and my tail, everything just like we started. So nothing's changed there. Now this time you're going to once again hang on to it so you don't lose it. We're going to catch the yarn and make that chain stitch two times. One, two. So I haven't done anything different than we did last time right here. We have one and two. Now you'll see right next to your knot is a hole. That's the hole we're going to look go into here. So you see, see my the, the knot, and then there's a hole right next to it. So I'm going to put my hook in there, in that hole, catch the yarn, yarn over it, and catch it. So now I have two on top, one in a hole. So I'm going to yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. That's really three, three yarns over there. So that is a very basic, you're going to say, well, that doesn't look like anything. Well, not yet. It's getting there. So right behind your hook should be a hole. You'll have like a, a yarn hole and then your first stitch. So we're going to go into that hole. So we're just going to go into the hole, yarn over, pull it through. So you should have your yarn, your hook with two loops on it. So we're going to yarn over, yarn over two, pull it through one, yarn over, pull it through two. So that's three yarns over. Now once again, you have a hole just before your crochet hook. So go into that hole and make sure so when you go into that hole, you have two threads on the top. There will be two automatically on the bottom. Just make sure you have two on the top. So we're in the, went in the hole, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. One more time and we'll take a peek at what it looks like. So you have a hole behind your crochet hook. You'll get to see in that once you do a couple more of these. Go through the hole, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two. Now it's starting to take a little bit of shape. You'll see there's like little V's along the way here. So that's what you're looking for is the V's along your edge. That means you're doing it right. So we're going to go in the hole, which is right behind our hook here. Yarn over, pull through. So now you have your two strands on top your hook and there's automatically two on the bottom. Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. And let's do this a few more times and then I'll start back at the beginning again so you can see where it came from. So yarn a hole behind your hook, 
pull through. You have two strands on top. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. This has also been called a chainless foundation. So you can see it's really starting to take shape. So behind your hook is a hole. Two strands you'll see on top. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Pull through one. Okay. Yarn over. Let's try that one more time. So, yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. Hook in the hole behind your hook. Yarn over, pull through. You'll have two on top. Pull through one, pull through two. And that is what it starts to look like. And that's what it's supposed to look like. And you'll notice you'll have some little V shapes along the way. So let's take that out. And the best thing about crochet is make a mistake. Easy peasy, pull it out. Just gotta try and make sure you didn't make a mistake way back there because pulling out a lot is not a fun thing to do. So let's pay attention to your work as you're going. You'll be fine. So I'm gonna make two chains. One, two. Like I said, I made this hole a little bit big so we could see where we're going. So now I have two chains. So I'm going to go into the first one next to the knot. Pull through one. Yarn over, pull through one, pull through two. So I go into the hole behind my hook, which will give me two strands of yarn on top, and two on the bottom. So yarn over, pull through one, pull through two. In the hole behind my hook, I have two threads on top, and they'll automatically be two on the bottom. So it's hard to show you that on camera. So that would be pull through, and you have two. Go through one, go through two. In the hole, yarn over. Pull through one, pull through two, yarn over, yarn over. Now, as you'll see, once you get the motion going, it's actually pretty, pretty repetitive. So, yarn over, pull through one, and two. And you're starting, we are starting to get those V shapes along the bottom. It's exactly what we want. So in the hole behind the hook, two threads are on top. So I'm pulling it through. I have two threads on top of my hook now. Yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two. Do a couple more here. So the only place you don't yarn over is when you put your hook in that hole because I didn't go over the hook or anything there. I just went straight into the hole. Now there's my yarn over my hook. Catch it, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, and pull through two. Put it in the hole behind the hook. Yarn over your hook. through, pull one, pull two. So watch this video as many times as you need to to get that idea. It, it, once you get it done and you master this, you'll wonder why it was so difficult. It's not. It's just a matter of motion. And please keep 
relax, keep your stitches loose. And don't stress, you got this. And I do offer other videos. Uh, my primary ones are loom crochet and all these stitches that I'm teaching you now can be used on the loom as well. So thank you for joining me and you have a great day.